In this video, you'll see how to implement interactive sorting in Print Preview for both detailed data and report groups. I'll start with an application containing a data-aware report that displays products grouped by category names. To enable sorting report groups in Print Preview, select the label displaying product category names located in the Group header. Switch to the Properties window and expand the label's Interactive Sorting option. Set the Target Band property to the Group header band and the Field Name property to the Category Name field against which report data is grouped. Switch to the Preview tab to see the result. When a mouse pointer hovers over the Category Name field, it changes to a hand indicating the sorting capability. Click this label to sort the report groups by the Category Name field. Click the label once again to reverse the sort order. The order is indicated by the arrow displayed at the element's right edge. Switch back to the Designer tab and enable sorting data in the Detail band. Select the table cell displaying the product name caption and go to the Properties window. Expand the Interactive Sorting option and set the Target Band property to the Detail band. The Band Sort Fields collection now doesn't contain any fields. Click the ellipsis button for this property to invoke the collection editor. Add a new group field and set its field name property to product name. The sort order property specifies the default sorting direction in Print Preview. If no default sorting is required, set this property to none. Close the editor. And then set the field name property of the table cell to the product name field. On switching to the Preview tab, you can sort data in the Detail band by the Product Name field. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, you can watch more from our reporting playlist or check out the documentation on our website. And make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.